Now, top police officials were in charge of operations in Kisumu's Nyalende State on 12th August 2017 are liable to the murder of six-month-old baby Samantha Pendo. Delivering the findings of a public inquest ordered by the DPP in November, Senior Resident Magistrate Barry Lomolo prescribed that the then Kisumu County Police Commander Titus Yoma, John Deringe, Christopher Maweyu Mutune, Lina Koske and Benjamin Koske face murder charges while a platoon of 30 other constables who are in the area will be treated as persons of interest in the murder. Joseph Abanja and Lensa Chiang expressed their satisfaction in the findings and cited confidence in the legal system to attain justice for their slain daughter. Now, six-month-old Samantha Pendo succumbed to severe head injury inflicted by a blunt object. It is impossible for the court to ascertain which officer should be charged for the offense committed. However, there is sufficient evidence to show that the security agencies were at the scene of the incident and the court saw fines. The officers under Sector 1, as per the prosecution exhibit number 13, and the general service unit officers under Platoon 1, as persons of interest in the death of baby Samantha Pendo. This leads me to the third limb of the issues on who is culpable for the death of the deceased. The operation order being prosecution exhibit number 13 places prosecution witness number 16, Chief Inspector Lina Kuge, prosecution witness number 17, Chief Inspector Mohamed Ali, officers deployed under sector one, and the general service unit platoon one around the scene of the incident. They are persons of interest in the death of baby Samantha Pendo.